Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this episode of Really Dicey. I'm here with Fender, and today we're going to talk about another Draconic subclass, um, Drake Warden, uh, subclass for Rangers. There are some things that I enjoyed, but I, I, I love the idea. And as someone who just made a Ranger who has a dragon sidekick, or companion, or familiar, or partner, whatever term you want to put there, I love that they were going to make a version of it. Um, I wasn't super happy with this. This is probably one of the ones I was very unhappy with. There are a couple of things that I really like the way they handled, um, but a lot of the ideas behind it were very disappointing. When I saw Drake Warden, it made me think of uh, Kitty Pride in the X-Men and, and her pet, uh, Lockheed. That's what a lot of this reminded me of. Um, uh, overall, I think it's okay. It's, it's, it's not a bad subclass. I'm not sure what it is, but part of me wishes they could do a little bit more. Um, I know we, we talked about previously before, before this video, how we don't like how the Drake disappears. Um, yep. you magically summon it and then it goes away, but it, it, you, you also bond with it. So as, a, as in the role playing aspect of it, it, it just seems kind of weird. Um, I, to me, it, made more, it would have made more sense if they, if the, uh, this Drake is always there. Um, so I actually enjoyed the Drake companion design. I, I think there's a lot of dragon things you could have used already. Like there's the guard Drake. Uh, you could even use a pseudo dragon to like start off and grow and like have it upgrade over time. Or even wyrmlings, while strong, you could always make one and take it down a notch. But the Drake companion itself, the design is great. I very much like the way um, Wizards of the Coast is going with making these... Uh, very generic thing that you can kind of design yourself um, with the only like real extra thing on it being uh, proficiency bonuses to help your creature level with you but the stats are are good I mean they're fine it does decent amount of damage it uh, grows with your proficiency bonus to do more damage over time nothing crazy exciting the, the I mean the nicest thing about it is that it's natural armor is gonna be great by the time you're like fifth level yeah it's gonna already have like an ac that rivals yours um if not better than yours potentially depending on how you make your ranger um but like, it's got the normal things where it's like it's uh, got some dark vision uh it doesn't have great perception and it's not charismatic so it, i think it, they're very much going it being a drake and not a dragon uh which it's weird, but it, like, I, I guess it works. I think so far my favorite feature about this is Drake's Breath, uh, where it could you could choose what type of damage it can exhale, and it'll do about 66 damage on a fail save, and then half if if, uh, uh, if it's a successful one. Um, it's um, I think you know I mentioned before like I wasn't too sure exactly what what about this that I feel like I didn't like about it. I think it's just that I wish there was more customization. I think that's what I'm looking for. Um, why just the five types of damage? Can 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 we do something different with that? Can I can I change that to maybe a different type of uh, damage or 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 uh, look or feel for it? Like like for example, like in, in seventh level, bond of fang and scale. You could choose your Drake to either have a swimming speed of 40, uh, 40 feet per, per per round, or and breathe air and water, or it can fly as fast as well. Um, but uh, can, is that is that my only option? Can we do something? Have a game? I don't know. More like maybe like uh, uh, the ability to phase or the ability to um, I don't know. I just I feel like it, there's there needs to be a little bit a tad more creativity involved. Agreed. It was also weird that uh, the Drake when you first get it is a small dragon at uh, third level, and then suddenly at fifteenth level it's large. There's no medium increase anywhere in there uh, for it to be. As far as I saw, I might have missed it, but as far as I could tell, there was no medium increase, so it didn't just grow over size. It was just it was this big, and then it was suddenly it was the size of a ten foot by ten foot room. Like I, interesting. Like if it's a spiritual thing, if it's like a spirit that's working with you in a draconic form, it makes sense. But if it's an actual dragon, an actual drake, it it really doesn't. Um, I did enjoy the Drake Warden Origins. Some of them were really interesting, like uh, Secret Order of Rangers uh, who guard Draconic lore was great. Um, there was one where a true dragon gives you a Drake egg and it 
bonded with you and i love those ideas but those really sound like it's a physical dragon that would grow over time however long maybe time is split, split up because it's your companion or something for it but it, 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 sh it doesn't sound like it should be disappearing it doesn't sound like it should be a spirit that suddenly randomly grows it sounds like it should grow over time with you and i don't think we're getting that to its fullest yeah, I, I'm not sure why. I, I, are they, I'm not sure if they're worried about it being too overpowered, but I, I can't seeing it being a problem. Um, I've I've had um, players, you know, have all sorts of pets, <laughs> even a, a baby dragon at one point, um, and um, I've never had any, at least with me, any uh, imbalance issues in my games because of it. So I'm I'm not sure. sure I'm not sure the reason behind that. And even if there is, you can always adjust, and that is the DM's prerogative, is to adjust on the fly. Um, and I, th I think allowing someone, I would rather, if this, if the, if I had to have a person be a ranger and have a dragon pet, I would much rather have them choose the new, not the new, uh, the Beast Conclave uh, revised version. Uh, get the stat increases, and we can, you know, judge sizes and stuff like that on the go. And just have them choose either like a guard drake or something to start with like something that can eventually get flying and swimming speed all the time and be with you all the time and actually be a companion as opposed to a quick pokeball open and then okay back into the pokeball type thing where it's like yeah i'm only using you for fighting it's fine hmm. you know give us a drake uh, evolution process similar to that we get with like a red dragon or a white dragon because then you know we could use that drake as an example for this and be like okay miniature drake goes into a small drake goes into a medium-sized drake goes into a large drake and like hey that makes sense for progression but mm. you know it happens what it is what it is and you know it, it's not like this thing is like the worst thing ever that it can get improved and better it's only unearth arcana but you know i just with things they've already made i just would have expected better out of the gate yeah all right so um our viewers out there uh what do you think of this uh subclass i'll put the link in the description below uh let us know do you do you think it's perfect as it is what changes would you do to it like and subscribe and support the channel and um yeah be safe out there have a good day